I've been asked to answer question 16, part B, from October, November 2014, paper 2, variant 2. And in this question, we have a question on angles and circles for part A, which is pretty simple. So the person didn't ask me about that one. He's asked me about question part B, okay, which is kind of to do with gradients of lines and vectors and so on. Okay, so first of all, um, for just for your purpose, part A, just ask you to find BOC, okay, which we can see. BOC stands on the same arc as BAC. They both stand on the same arc. So BOC is at the circumference. BAC is at the circumference. The angle at the center is twice the angle of the circumference. So the angle at the center is going to be 108, double the angle at the center or circumference. So that the angle at the center is always the angle at the center will always be two times the angle at the circumference. Okay, so something like that for the reason and stuff to give you two marks, one mark for the answer, one mark for the reason. Okay, so just quickly did part part A in passing. Now, when O is the origin, the position vector point, the position vector of point C is three minus four. Work out the gradient of the radius O C. So it's like if they're saying, imagine now that this is a pair of axes and O is the origin. Okay, the position vector of point C is three minus four. Okay, position vector means the word position vector always refers to the origin. It's a position vector, it's a position of that point in relation to the origin. So it means it's the vector from O to C. So what they've given us here is the vector from O to C, which is 3 minus 4. Okay, so if you imagine that this is O, which is origin, 0, 0, and to get to C, you've got to go 3 to the right and 4 down. Well, that's 3 along the x-axis and 4 along the y-axis. So that's going to be like, if you draw a pair of axes, that's going to be like 3 on the x-axis, and minus 4 on the, on the y-axis, so it's going to be, the coordinates of C is going to be 3 minus 4. Now, I know how to find the gradient between two points. Okay, it's going to be minus 4, minus 0, the change in y over 3 minus 0, the change in x, which gives you negative 4 over 3. Okay, so that's your answer. That's the gradient between those two points. You could also think of it as O to C, there's O, you've got to go 3 to the right and 4 down, Okay, you've got to find the gradient. The gradient is a change in y over the change in x. That's the same thing. That's 4, that's 3. It's a negative gradient. It's going to be negative 4 over 3. Okay, now, part 2 says D is the point 7K. So this is the point here, 7K. 7 and K. It tells us to find the value of K. We think, okay, how am I going to do that? Well, we know from this question, all right, it tells you TCD is a tangent to the circle. Now, why do they tell us that? Well, obviously, it's got something to do with the question. It wasn't part A. Part A, didn't, we didn't need it. Okay, part B, obviously, this is the end of the question. That's got something to do with the question. So whenever you see a question like this and you, you get stumped, you think, oh, how am I going to find this? They only gave me the X coordinate. I don't know any other information. Well, dig for some information. What did they tell us? They told us TCD is a tangent. Why did they tell us it's a tangent? Obviously, that's got something to do with the question. What do we know? The tangent meets the radius at right angles. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So I know the gradient of OC is minus 4 over 3. And I know that the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Cuts at 90 degrees. They, they meet at 90 degrees. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent, which is C to D is part of it, must be related to the tangent of the radius because they are perpendicular. Now we know that with perpendicular lines, the gradients are negative reciprocals. The gradient of the line from C to D, okay, for, from C to D, the gradient is going to be the negative reciprocal. So we're going to change the sign, so it's going to become positive, and I'm going to switch the numerator and the denominator. So that is the gradient of the line between C and D, three quarters. And I know that D is the point 77K, and I know that C is the point, so I know that C is the point 3 minus 4. We worked that out in the first part of the question, part B. And then D is the point 7 and something, which I have to find. And I've got the gradient, so there's only one unknown here. If I take the change in Y, which is K minus 4, over the change in X, I'll start from D, so I'll start from D again, 7 minus 3, that's equal to 3 quarters. Okay, if I solve that, I have k minus 4 over 4 equals 3 quarters. 
Now I want to get rid of the fraction so I can multiply both sides by 4, which would be nice and convenient because the 4s will disappear from both sides. Okay, you're, left, you're now left with k minus 4 equals um, 3. Yes, sorry, this is 3 and minus 4. This is k plus 4. This is k plus 4. This is k plus 4. Sorry about that. Please be very careful. This is 3 minus 4, not 3, 4. This is 3 and negative 4. Okay, I'm going to leave this in the video just to make you realize that you've got to be very careful <coughs> when you are copying down from previous answers. What did I write there? I wrote 3 minus 4. You see, I wrote 3, 4. So you've got to be careful. When you go and check your work, especially in the exam, always it's very easy to make this mistake. So, of course, I'm only doing this to show you that, you know, to teach you something. <clears throat> not that I did it on purpose. Not that, sorry, not that I was mistaken. Okay, so now we know that k is equal to, k plus 4 is equal to 3, so k is equal to minus 1. So k is equal to minus 1, and there's our answer. Okay, so you've got k minus minus 4, that's why. That's the answer. Okay, so 7 minus 3 over k plus 4.